Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Welcome to your daily January 27 and happy Friday. Whatever in the world you are, welcome, loves. And let's see what we got for you. And definitely, I want to say for all of you a big thank you for all your messages, for all your comments, and definitely for all your requests. Much, much appreciation. And all of you who did request a reading, know that I am getting there to respond to all your emails because sometimes catching up certain things might take some time. So here we are, loves. Let's see what the daily is. I hope you had a great week. If your week is seems like ends now or today, let's see and for others of you you might still continue because for some of you your weekly might not never could end as i always say my weeks uh, don't feel like this is a week this is a weekend it's a constant energy to enjoy and I feel here a more released energy since all the planets are going direct, you know, the moon is crescent. Many of you might feel a sense of relief. For others of you might feel kind of weird because definitely the other day I was just kind of like, I feel this burst of energy, but somehow very very challenging how to put it together so for some of you definitely you might feel this way so look at this loves number five the bad spirit a rebirth is assured the bad spirit very strongly speaks of the the hangman in the tarot so many many of you if you feel like nothing comes nothing go also the bat you know the bats only at night time they are active so i feel here that for some of you the nights been a little challenging for others of you you might felt in the dark but you know planting a seed we will plant the seed in the dirt and that's very strongly dark the first card we have spider spirit make your dreams real the number 56 the rabbit spirit now is a lucky time absolutely as you know this year is a rabbit by the chinese interpretations it's a rabbit it's the water rabbit and the turtle spirit slow and steady with the race even though you you might feel here that things are not really quite going or not really quite the way you would like to but yeah there's certain things coming in and you definitely need to enjoy it there's another thing here as you know the rabbit it's hop 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 pretty fast but the turtle is not as much slow so fast 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 slow 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 and for some of you yeah whatever you start now even you feel like will go slower it will go pretty fast another thing here what i'm seeing here for many many of you you know the rabbits are pretty quick you know animals who let's say they don't live as long as the turtles so that's kind of um not a union but um A slight magnetic energy that I'm feeling is like attract, retract, attract, retract. Let's see here what this is of. For some of you, indeed, after a long time, might come balance into your life, or whatever you ask the universe, now it's coming, or it felt like it takes so much. It takes so long now it's coming for those of you who do start something now 
I feel here in the long run, many of you have been heard about the delayed gratification will come to you. So in a long run, it's coming more than in a short time. For some of you with the rebirth assured, you will realize many, many things in this period of time and you'll see much better. Five of Wands underneath, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Four of Cups. I feel also that for some of you, you might you might shift your perception of how you do certain things or how you want to improve certain things. The Emperor Aries energy taking action and I feel here different ones than you used to because there's something here that you don't like about the past and now looking for the future. The first card we have Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Again, Ten of Pentacles really speaks of the long run. Whatever you put now in the long run will show big time. Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Judgment. Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, World, and voila, the Hangman. So look at this, loves. Yes. The next card that we have, time for a deep dive. And then watch your words and embrace the in between and nothing is wasted. So whatever you put there, you gotta honor it because we're very, very strongly there for you. What I'm seeing here, look at this loves, three queens, the only queen missing is queen of cups, the watery energy. As I say, this year is the water rabbit year in the Chinese ideas. But as well here, I'm feeling there a situation that was very imbalanced, now kind of taking contour. Clarifying really quick the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Been waiting for too long, something to get over the cliff or move forward. Two of Swords. Somebody here didn't really want to deal with something or didn't want to make it. King of Cups. Yes. So you see here, loves, there is a... Um, the water energy of a queen is missing in here big time. Page of Pentacles. And that very strongly speaks of opening up, allowing. But the Page of Pentacles, this is a new ground energy. The Hangman clarifier, Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And King of Pentacles. So we have two kings as we speak right now. But at the same time, we have the page and the king of pentacles. So this is the same person we do speak here. The thing also... Somebody needed to learn... And the learning process were very heavy. And the learning process also was very, very strongly about what connection we need to put effort into and what connection we do not 
need to put effort into. The Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Hierophant, Ten of Cups, and the Hermit. This is the deep dive energy here, the number 60. Somebody really needed to reflect on certain things. Probably they done, probably others. And get to the ground. And I feel here this deep dive is where stands my happiness or what brings me happiness what how i allow the happiness because somebody here might be in, involved in a circle that quite were not what's supposed to or were not the best of the best It's like I, I really wanted for a long time to do something. Now is the lucky time really speaks of don't wait, don't hold, don't block, allow. Take that decision you, you always wanted. Take that decision that you or action towards what you really wanted for a long time. It's like someone here wanted for a long time to do something. But for whatever reason, every time they wanted to do it, something was coming up. Well, I wanted to start this gig, came up a problem in my family. The next time when I wanted to start this, came up you know, a situation that really pulled me back. So something here was delay, delay, delay. Now is the, is the time when you can do it. Nothing is in the way. Nothing is in the way. The Two of Wands, Clarifier, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, the Devil, the Lovers. So somebody here definitely goes up and down, up and down with the things. And now the Tower. But the Tower really speaks off. Now or never. Now or never loves. Allow it to go and have it. Let the universe to bless you. Don't just look, act. Don't hold it back. Because indeed here, whatever it is given to you by the universe will be for a long, long time. What is the message the universe tell you right now to take action upon? Full. Go ahead. Go ahead, loves. Underneath we have Seven of Swords. Don't tell anyone. Just do it. You know, Seven of Swords here is a sneaky person. You know, the card. But many, many times the Seven of Swords is 
you got to do it now when nobody watches you or nobody knows. Because, you know, sneaking out, it's something many, many times we speak, speak of being honest and stuff. But I feel here this, this energy doesn't really speak of. It's kind of do it and then you can tell others what you've done. There's something here like you you want to try, be confident and allowing. So look at this, all the queens in this reading. So allow it, loves. Allow it. Because I feel here this is something someone needed to, to do in this lifetime. For some of you, there is a karmic energy that you are being sent upon to fulfill. And to learn that sometimes we're not planning accordingly and asking for advice or taking the time, probably the best time, learning and so on. But I feel here someone were sent here, yes, to, to do here, to overcome a karmic energy, to bring the better energy for themselves in the first place. And next is to learn that it's okay to allow to do certain things and not overthinking. Not overthinking it. So whoever I'm speaking today loves, do it now and you'll see later. Yes, seems like a childish energy to be, you know, because a child will jump and then will think, oh, you know, I'll get hurt. But I feel here there's someone needs to learn a different way because it's someone here very much like planning accordingly, always, always procrastinating, always, always trying to bring in balance. Oh, if it's not balanced, let's wait a little bit. And, and always is in that energy that Nothing is good. Nothing is coming. Nothing is there. So now with this rebirth assured energy is I got to do the things differently. I got to allow this energy for me. And now is a great time, especially in this season of Aquarius. Dream big. Be a little crazy because, you know, if a dream is not as crazy as kind of scares you, that dream is not a big enough dream. So go ahead, loves. Sometimes the wildest dreams make out of the best. And somebody here got to do you that. Five of swords, six of wands. It's kind of, you know, it's an energy of showing others who you truly are. Because probably nobody believed. Many people say, you know, oh, BS, you're never going to do it. But six of wands is just kind of like, you know, I done this to show myself what I can do. Or... Yes, somebody here is doing something not too many know or not everyone knows and looks awesome. So yes, loves, for those of you who are hesitating many, many times to do certain things, now is a great time. There's another thing here. Whatever someone here risks, whatever they try to do, it's for their um, prosperity, wealth, even financial field. Why I'm saying that, look at this. Five of Wands is there. Five of Swords is here. Five of cup, Cups is here. Five of Pentacles is the one missing. However, we do have right smack in the middle here, the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, you might stay in a miserable, let's say that, 
metaphorically or not, in a, in a situation that really keeps you small, keeps you broke, just because others tell you to do this or other tells you this is the right thing, the right way, and, you know, or you got to learn. There's something here unconventional. Yes, doesn't feel like, you know, safe, but I feel here if it's done the right thing, in the long run, you will see it, that that is for you. And yes, I may speak here with someone, probably you are in... 40s, past 45, that's what I'm hearing. 40s, 60s, that's what I'm hearing. And you might feel like, well, if I didn't make it till now, I will never make it. Well, there's so many stories in this world that people come out from certain situations that they never thought will. The universe is bigger than we think. And just putting love, gratitude, and just a thank you will go milestones. And that is the one reason I came most of the days here. And I say thank you for all of you. Because many of you probably see the impact brought in here but many of you have no idea what impact you all bring to me and this impact starts with that day and every day that I'm waking up and I want to do more I want to bring more I want bring that guidance many many of you looking at and that is not only for you but for me as well and that's true because some of you might feel like what in the earth someone could dedicate for something like that for such a long time because believe it or not those who have passion will stick for a very long time with certain things. Those who really have a calling, they will stick with that energy. Those who do not, you've seen quite a lot around this internet, around even, you know, media and these sites. As long as I am allowed to do certain things, I will, and I will come, because the impact, it's huge. And yes, some seek the trends, there's a lot of craziness in this world, but not quite many will be for their true calling. And those who have a true calling in the long run will show up. And will show the strength they are mean to it. So that's why I want to show. But it's not like show. It's more likely I want you to see for yourself how the energy goes. Where you are heading. What's the energy flowing around you. And... When you need to go ahead, when you need to push through, or when you need to take a time. Because you've seen here, sometimes I will go to the distance with certain readings because that's the meaning. Sometimes I will just, this will be the reading which will not go too long for that reason. So know that, loves. Always, always. Somebody is calling right now. Goodness. Always, always know. Don't hold yourself. Just because someone tell you to hold yourself. Don't stop yourself 
from the journey you are into. Because there will be setbacks anyway. There will be things that we need to take a pause. But we are always keep going. We are always keep moving. So yes, loves, I will, however, want to go and read really quick the, the bad spirit with the rebirth assured. After something has run its course and dying or being released, finished, surrendered, completed or ended, there's a promise of a new beginning. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of womb-like cave. Bat spirit has come to remind you that this rebirth is a miraculous one. For the very best elements of what you had to give up in the death of world and still present in the new. Amazing life forming now. This is the miracle and magic of rebirth in every aspect of your life, including the rebirth of faith in your ability to establish new and healthy relationships. That spirit reminds you that at present you are in an unknown territory and may feel as if you are lost. However, you are called to trust that your intuition will be a reliable guide as you give birth to something new and unfamiliar. The bad spirit has listened in the darkness of the night and has heard all your hopes and dreams, your fears and worries, and assures you that this new version of your dream, this move from darkness into the light, from lost to found and death to rebirth, comes to fruition with love at its own core. The bad spirit asks you to trust that what seems to have died is actually shape-shifting into something even more meaningful and wondrous than before. If you feel you are in the dark, know that come morning, all will be revealed and things will be in a new form what is right for you. So here he is, loves. There is a whole new way that comes in there for you and will be much better. I hope this makes some sense for many, many of you. But it seems here someone <clears throat> goes to such a level that right now they don't really feel like they will ever. Especially having those four queens in the reading. As you know, many, many of you who have the queens, these are messages related to career, to your calling, to your doing in this lifetime. And yes, Probably some of you have been struggling big time. But now, let's go into each individual zodiac sign. And since it's Friday, I will start today with Pisces, not with Aries. And going clockwise a little bit. Because sometimes we need to reverse certain energies. So the other ones to go forward. Even seems that all the planets go in the red. Some things we need to do in a different direct form. So Pisces, welcome darlings. 
your energy we have justice and five of pentacles you know justice will be served for you darlings yes you might feel here left out you might feel lost but no in just a little bit certain things here are balancing out there's Pisces here who financially may not doing well right now hang in there loves for some of you there is a, a legal situation out there that really feels like is taking forever not for too long it's kind of more past than still out there Aquarians happy birthday loves your energy we have six of wands and nine of pentacles look at you darlings on the move success is on the way or you are moving towards success a lot of great energies you are emerging to for some of you being confident being that feeling that you know i got it go forward don't even stop whatever energy you are going into it's beautiful for some of you yes the work starts to pick up for some of you your finances pick up for others of you there is a job you want to have that's picking up for others of you your career is skyrocketing or starts to you know flourish beautiful enjoy capricorns welcome darlings we have four of wands and two of cups couldn't be a better energy which i wish each zodiac sign this energy is for some of you you are meeting someone new which very very soon you might be actually living and building a life with them for some of you there is a new home if you are looking for a new home i see here one month three months at the most that home will be yours for some of you it's a move into a whole whole new home for some of you you are going to meet someone and i feel here it's such a great connection or such a great you know feel that probably will feel for quite a while enjoy capricorn sagittarius welcome darlings let's see what we have for you there's a Sag here who have a big realization as we speak today or even through the weekend that not everyone is there for you, not everyone is your friend or need, not everyone is happy for your own happiness. So here we are Sag, seven of cups, five of pentacles. You are getting out from a situation for sure, the Sajam I'm speaking, but it seems here that you, you still have a lot of question regards it. You know, sometimes when we are getting out from certain situations, let it go because the answers will come along. For those of you who are out of a situation where you want to be out of a situation, you're looking like what options are the best for me out there. I feel here soon enough you will see what you need and what's the best option or what is there for you to work out. It seems here for a Sag who have been struggling here and struggling quite a lot, not quite a bit, quite a lot, loves you. You kind of don't understand why or you you are in that feeling of what's next for me well ask what next blessing i need to be embracing believe it or not when you shift this way a lot of things will come beautifully to you because many many feels like oh you know i am in a bad situation right now what other bad situation can come and believe it or not it's coming out of the bad situation if you are shifting the energy what blessing i need to embrace and feels like home what good energy comes to me and i need to embrace good so that's the shift you gotta take a look scorpios we have a sun and a three of wands i see you happy loves 
there is certain plants here that takes contour and seems like a beautiful day enjoy it for some of you there is certain news you've been waiting they are coming and look awesome well enjoy it enjoy it loves especially for the Scorpios who do have fire in their chart if you've been looking for a new beginning or some energy to change around this now is the time Libra four of swords and death yes something here it's done and over there is healing for some of you you might not feel like doing too much today neither this weekend for some of you whatever change is happening right now with you you are preferring to take a few days off but also there's a Libra here who does look for a change and it feels like you you're seeking through meditation that change or you are taking the time to reflect what you have now and what you need to do next well I feel here there's a few couple days that some Libras will have some work to do. Doesn't feel like work, but definitely is. And of course, beautiful Virgos. Welcome, darlings. We have a star and an ace of swords. Now you know clearly what you want and go and get that. Look at this. And I feel here this is coming very, very quick. I know clearly what I want. I'm going towards it. For um, some of you, Virgos, you you could have certain dreams that brought you some kind of clarity. Go ahead. There's also here a Virgo who have been through a healing process. And the healing was about to clear out their mind, to, to clear out the things that were messy. Now you get out of it. Because I feel here there's a Virgo here who definitely have protection around it. For some of you, you just basically whatever you've done till now, you surround yourself with protective energy. Moving on to our Leos. Here we are, Leo, Queen of Swords and Justice. Libra energy for some of you might have Libra in the chart, but it seems here that you either have a conversation with someone regards, could be a legal situation, could be a situation in your life, but I feel here it's kind of like, I know what I need to do and I'm going to follow it. Yes, for some of you, you will talk with someone straightforward even that they will like the situation or do not. I feel here you you want to be heard. You want to be understood. But most importantly, I got to say what I need to say. Never hold yourself loves. Cancerians, welcome darlings. We have Queen of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Okay. Yes. Moving on from a situation... But I feel here now you are not moving on just like that. But you are planning ahead what's next for you. And most importantly, you are not feeling stuck. Yes, Five of Pentacles doesn't really seem good for some of you. But I feel here now it's kind of like if, if I let back then to depend on someone or something... Now, I will depend only on me or I need to do the things my way. Good for you, loves, because, you know, many, many times we, we help someone to save us. But at the end, it's only us to save ourselves. Moving on to our beautiful Geminis. We have two of cups and two of swords. Gemini, open up, loves. You do have something new coming up into your life and blocking it might not be your way or might not be the best way. Yes, it seems here there's a Gemini have a hard time to open up to the new things, but they are coming. For some of you, it could be even new love. There's also here a Gemini who 
gotta let go of their control issues because there's a Gemini here who's just kind of like, I will say when I will have it or I will do it when I will want it and things like that. Sometimes let the universe to bless you loves because it might be a good blessing. Two of Swords, for some of you, there is good energy around you or there's someone around you who brings you good energy and you might refuse it to see it. But sometimes might be the thing you want. Taurus, loves, welcome. We have death and two of swords. Let go, loves. Something here, it's gone and over. Something here, it's definitely gone and over. With the two of swords, somebody here might, might hit the rock bottom and they, they refuse. They refuse to acknowledge that that is done. Yes, when the death is coming... Is telling you it's over. And you know, death, it's Scorpionic energy. Scorpio is the opposite of yours. For some of you, you might do exactly the opposite, what you need to do. So shift your perception loves. And of course, my beautiful Aries, welcome. We have a page of cups and a knight of swords. Aries, there is someone here coming forward. Could be coming with an apology towards you. Someone here wants to make the things right. And you were just thinking like, is this what I what I need or I want? I want things like that. Don't overthink it. If you feel it's worth it, you will know in the meantime. But don't stress you out too much. For some of you, there is a situation that you think to go after and you just don't want to regret it later or you don't want to mess it up and feel sorry later. You know, if you don't try, anyway, is a lost cause. If you try, it might be a little different. And of course, the collective. Nine of Wands for you, Nine of Cups. There's something here you definitely want but not quite sure if I really need to go towards it. As well, the nines speaks of cycles are ending. So don't resist what you want, loves. Just because certain things here happen to you doesn't mean the need to stop you from what you need to achieve next. You know, many, many of our memories or experiences could you know stop us or pull us back don't let anything to pull you back because there is much more many many people have this feeling that if they will pull back or they will not let it in things will be you know much better sometimes letting go the old things and embracing the new might give you unbelievable opportunities that we need to embrace. That being said, loves, happy Friday. Thank you very much for coming in and we'll see you next time. Namaste.